for you girls out there na fan ng Korea. Koreans, K-pop, Korean makeup, this is for you. So this look is uh, my adaptation or my take, my version of the Korean everyday makeup look. And I tried a BB cream for the first time na sobrang tagal na niya sa market. But this is my first purchase of this BB cream. This is the I Wait Korea BB Holly. So I just bought the sample. Yung sachet lang niya, it's, it costs 24.50 if I'm not mistaken. And I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, including a review sa dulo. And if you want to watch that, please um, finish the vid. But if you don't, so pwede nyo nang exit after ng tutorial. So, if you want to see my Korean-inspired makeup look, please keep on watching. I'm so sorry kung medyo may echo and raspy yung voice ko kasi 12am na, tulugan na sila. Nandito ako sa banyo. So, I'm using my Daily Cleaning Collagen um, Brightening Emotion for my moisturizer. Kasi, I need moisturization. And I'm using this Eye White BB Holic Everyday BB Cream and it's true to what it says na everyday BB cream siya. Sobrang ganda niya for everyday use. And I'm just um, applying it with my fingers and I'm gonna be blending it with my fingers as well kasi para hindi ko ah, para hindi mo wala yung coverage. So, one If you want to know my thoughts, pagodin yung last part ng video. And I'm using my Essence Match to cover a cream concealer. And I'm in, the, I'm in the shade 10 beige. Tapos kina conceal ko lang yung dark under eyes ko kasi cannot. <laughs> and I'm using a spoolie to brush my brows upward para maggroom ng siya ng slide. And this Levy Lodge Auto Eyebrow from Korea din to eh. Pero bigay lang po sa akin. So, yan, ang pagkikilay ko. And, di ba, Koreans are more into straight brows. So, pinipili ko yung straight ang brows ko. But, you know, hindi talaga ako magaling magkilay. So, huwag nyo sundin na aking ginagawa. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Na mas straight yung brows ko. At, yung kapagkilay ko ng maayos. Tapos, pinipil in ko lang siya. And then I'm brushing it or blending it with a spoolie again para ma-distribute yung product sa brows. Next up, I'm using this eyebrow powder from Mother Home. Nagura na yung name niya. But, hindi ko ano yung brand to. Pero bigay lang kasi ito sa akin. Yeah. So I'm using the lighter shade and I'm blending it. And for my eyeshadow palette, inspiring LA Girl eyeshadow palette. What's new? So I'm using the lightest matte pink shade on the palette and I'm applying it on my lids and on the crease as well. Para mas set yung eyelids natin. May aso. And I'm applying the next dark shade, darker shade. Tapos kinukonsentrate ko siya sa lid na medyo malapit sa lash line. Sorry sa aso. Ayan, I'm just using a flat shader brush. And medyo winiwing ko siya ng sobrang light lang. Ganito lang yung nakikita ko mga makeup ng Korean. <laughs> so I'm blending it. And I'm using the darkest shade on the palette. Medyo super dark brown siya. And I'm just applying it with my eyebrow um, brush. And yun, dinidefine ko lang yung lash line and the lower lash line. Parang nagdalagay mong soft eyeliner na brown. And then I'm curling my lashes with my Nichido eyelash curl. And I'm using this Dr. Mascara Fixer from Etude House. This is very, very good for added volume and added curl. Para maayos talaga yung pangit mong mascara, kagaya ng mascara gagamitin ko, na hindi naman okay. 
and hindi ko nakalimutan kung pindutin yung play button so hindi mababapanood yung demo na pag-apply nyo ng itong Nichido Eyelash Defining Mascara and for my inner corner highlight I'm using the gold shade dun sa middle ng palette and I'm putting it on my inner corners and sa gitna lang ng lids like center of my lids and for blush I'm using the KJM Chicken Lip Tint in the shade Summer Kiss at natin naglagay. So, I'm just distributing it and I'm just doing it with my fingers. And nilalagay ko siya sa inner, cor inner corners. Oo, sa loob ng lips ko. Para lang, alam niyo yun, yung gradient na gusto natin lahat for Korean looks. And I'm using my LA Girl Flat Pigment Glosses in the shade Fleur kasi medyo orange, orange din yung shade. Bagay dun sa lip tint. And I'm just adding more lip tint and blending it. So, okay na to sa akin. But, okay na na kung lumabas ng ganun for um, Koreans. Pero, for me, I need contours. I'm using my Pinkies Collection Eyebrow Cake with a contour brush um, and gold brush. Koreans are not more into contouring. You know? Kasi, mas gusto nila yung fair skin and blush cheek lang. Parang, yun lang yung observation ko. But, I need contour. You know, I have brown big face. And I'm gonna be contouring my nose. Ang Koreans, they always contour their nose. That's my observation. And I'm adding more highlight. I'm using this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter with a fan brush. So brown nice, 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 nice little. So brown subtle looking and so brown natural looking. Niya. I'm adding it on the tops of my cheeks and on my bridge of my nose and that's it so that's the finished look so there you have it guys this that is my take on the korean makeup i like how they love the dewiness the dewy skin the very flawless skin na parang hindi cakey um tapos sobrang light lang and i've tried this bb holic this BB cream is from Iway Korea and I know ang tagal-tagal nito and I know ang dami-dami-dami nang nagtry nito and dami ko nang napanood na review pero ngayon lang ako bumili and actually hindi ngayon talaga as in ngayon lang ako bumili. Kaya ko bumili nito, binili ko yung shade na medium. So dalawang shade lang siya. It's light and medium. So I bought the medium one and acidic yung skin ko. So I tried it and the end of the day mukha na akong ash, sobrang ashy na. Kasi sobrang bilis kong mag sobrang bilis mag-oxidize ng product sa akin kasi acidic ako. And then medium pa and medyo ashy talaga yung tone ng BB cream na to as you can see. Hindi siya yellow. Medyo nakita niyo naman yun sa vid. So hindi ko siya nagustuhan. As in one one time ko pa lang siya ginamit. Tinapon ko na yung sample and hindi ko talaga tinest, hindi ko tiningnan yung coverage, hindi ko tiningnan yung feel um, sa skin. Kasi wala pa ako masyadong alam sa makeup nung binili ko to. But now, na medyo may konting-konting knowledge na ako about makeup and about skincare. Love it! This BB Holic is a multitasking BB cream that provides several makeup and skincare benefits. Yun yung pinaka nagustuhan ko sa kanya nung nabasa ko yung nasa likod. Talagang tinuon ko na yung attention ko dito sa BB cream na to. Skincare na rin pala siya and makeup at the same time. And sobrang ganda niya kasi I've been hunting for a base na hindi sobrang hindi sobrang dry, hindi sobrang full on coverage, pero meron pa rin siyang coverage. And sobrang ganda ng coverage nito, guys. As in, wala akong foundation, ito lang yung ginamit ko. Wala akong powder, I did not set my face with loose powder or with um, pressed powder or with cake foundation, I did not set my face. So, ito lang talaga yung nasa face ko. But I did conceal a little bit. I used the Essence um, Match to Cover Cream Concealer. Pero, under eyes ko lang siya nilagay. And, all over my face, ito lang talaga. I loved it. Yung makeup look na ginawa ka is for dry skin because I did not set my face. So, as you can see, do it talaga. I love this look. Kasi dry skin ako. Pero, alam ko, I cannot go out na ganito lang yung itsura ko. Kasi, dito sa Philippines, hindi uso tong ganito. Hindi sa... 
parang hindi sana yung mga taong makakita ng sobrang dewy na skin, di ba? Kasi mainit, ganun. If I will go out, I will definitely set my face with a loose powder as in sobrang light layer lang. But I've heard a lot of reviews. I've watched a lot of reviews nito and sobrang nag-work to for oily skin. And sobrang oh my god. I'm gonna buy the bottle kasi meron na silang hindi pala bottle, tube. Meron silang tube na siguro ganito kaliit. If I'm not mistaken, it's 159 pesos, 169 something. Basta, hindi siya lalampas ng 200 pesos. And, this is like an everyday BB cream talaga. Sobrang ganda niya for everyday use. Sobrang hydrating. Sobrang, ang sarap niya sa face. Sobrang light ng feeling sa face. And, imagine the price. You can get a sample. Sobrang tipid niya gamitin. Dito sa BB cream na to, a little goes a long, long way. Kasi, parang itong half na to, kasi dalawa siya eh. As you can see, it. dalawa siya. And itong half, I can like use this five times. Depending kung paano kayo gumamit. Pero ako, kaya ko siyang gamitin ng five times or more. And imagine you can do 10 uses with this and it's 24.50 pesos. And pwede mo siyang try If you don't like it, pwede hindi mo bilhin yung tube. Hindi yung kagaya ng ibang BB cream na malaki na agad yung packaging tapos hindi mo nagustuhan, hindi mo mauubo. Sayang yung money. But dito, this is very nice. And it's very blendable. I never tried to blend this with a brush. Kasi yung brushes ko is not too dense enough. I don't know. Parang feeling ko lang, feeling ko lang. I never tried. Feeling ko, yung brush ko, kapag ginamit ko, mag streak streak siya. Magkaka meron siya ng brush uh, lines. Ma makikita mo yung brush strikes. Kasi, masya ano talaga siya? Um, runny yung consistency niya. But, it's very, very easy to blend with the use of your finger. You want to use this, um, gumitin nyo na lang yung fingers nyo because I think, kapag ginamit nyo yung sponge, mas mababawasan yung coverage. Hindi nyo makukuha yung coverage na ganito. No, sobrang tamang-tama coverage na. It's not, it's light to medium coverage. It's not medium to full. Hindi siya talaga medium coverage. Light to medium. Like, in the middle lang. Pero meron siyang coverage. May kita mo talaga na meron siyang coverage. So, that is my mini review on this BB Holic Eye White Korea. And, I hope you like this video, guys. I hope you, ah, I hope I help a little sa mga gustong mag Korean makeup because, I can really pull this makeup look kasi sobrang dali niya and sobrang sobrang fresh looking lang niya. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!